How y'all doing? I'm at my workbench right now, working on some of my HO scale train cars. You can see a mess on my desk here. And I just finished this here um, Southern Box Car and this DRGW coal car. As you can see, I put um, two quarter ounce weights in it to get a little more weight. And I'm going to put a coal load to cover that up. I um, also put an AccuRail, kind of hard to see, but. Accu rail brake wheel on the car. Put some KD number five couplers on it. Put some metal wheels on it so it roll a little better. And this southern box car, I added one ounce weight on the inside of it. Some um, KDs and number fives and metal wheels on that sucker. Roof's a little dirty. I'm gonna clean that up too. Um, I. Give the DRGW also a little weathering job. And both those two are roundhouse. And then I got my Atherin that was green hopper that was also in my fixer upper box. I got about 30 cars in the fixer upper box. About three engines that need just some basic work done that I got real cheap. And I wanted to fix them up, put them on my layout. So this little cnw car here weathering ain't too bad on it it was a rookie job but it to me it didn't look too bad the only problem with it is the weight was broke and it needed new couplers of course and new metal wheels so what i did is i took some plastic that i had left over from um you know, when those parts come in on them kits, they're on them little things of plastic. So I usually save them, and then I break them off, and I can cover up them gaps. And that keeps the weight from jumping up and down, even if it is glued. And then super glue plastic on plastic, and that helps a lot. Also added a half ounce weight underneath there, and half ounce on this side. Now little stub was broke off so i took one and took my exacto knife and filed her down a little bit and then the glue kind of squirted out a little too much right there but that's okay it ain't going nowhere it's all on the metal so once that all gets dried up and everything i'm going to put some uh, more kds probably number five because i'm kind of low on the 148 and the 158 so, KD number five, some more metal wheels, and this car be good to roll again. Hope y'all enjoy, because I got more projects coming up, and usually when I get these projects done, I take them to Mr. Lee's and run them on his layout. All right, y'all, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll show you some more little modeling that I'm doing, and Maybe these little tips that I do will help you out. Alright, y'all have a great day.
This is ATSF 518. I can hear you loud and clear. Loud and clear, no static. That's what we like to hear. Thank you. ATSF 518 to UPSF dispatch over. ATSF 518, go ahead over. I have ran around my train at Thompsonville and I'm headed or ready to head back down to Martin Junction over. Get you a light of Mark Junction over. 
All right, we'll do this 518 to the dispatcher. I have one more. Do I need to clear up that track warrant? Over. Once you are all clear, Mark, I'll get over. All right, I'll give you a holiday and over.